I hereby call to order this meeting of the Arizona Boxing and Mixed Martial Arts Commission. Today is Friday, September 2nd, 2022, and the time is 11.02 a.m. Will those commissioners in our attendance please identify themselves and state as to whether they're here via telephone or Google Meets or in person? This is Eric Feinstein. I'm here via telephone. Thank you, Commissioner. I'm Scott Fletcher. I, too, am here via telephone, and we may or may not get Commissioner Pennington joining in. Uh, B is our new business. B1 is pursuant to ARS Sections 5-227, 5-228A, and AAC R19-2-C609, a new license application submitted by Mr. Bryce Holden, doing business as Holden Boxing, LLC, for a 2022 boxing promoter's license. Mr. Vello, will you speak to Mr. Holden's application, please? Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Um, so if you look at his um, investigative report, everything came back very positive from the financial side. Um, in my dealings with Mr. Holden, he's been very thorough and um, timely with his responses to any requests that I've had. And my uh, financial investigators said the same thing. They, they enjoyed dealing with him. So it uh, seems to me um, that he's done a good job in other jurisdictions, and um, I recommend his approval. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vela. Um, is, uh, is there a representative from Holden Boxing with us by chance? Uh, Mr. Holden himself is on the line. Hi, everyone. Oh, great. Mr. Holden, welcome. We're excited Thank to have you. Thank you so much. Likewise. Yeah, you know, we're excited about what you're proposing. I think you'll find that Phoenix and Arizona is a great fight state. Phoenix is a great fight town. Um, a, a couple of questions, if I may, regarding what you're contemplating. Sure. Um, the undercard. What are your thoughts on the undercard? Well, the undercard, our goal with the undercard is to have as many local fighters as possible. Um, the pay-per-view, of course, we have two or three athletes that we have in mind already. Showtime as well. But... Mm -hmm. As far as the non-TV and bleeding into the, the pay-per-view, um, our goal is to continue to source and find local talent and fighters from the Phoenix and Arizona area. Um, you know, not only just to drive ticket sales, but more so to have um, an energy and to also stimulate the sport locally. Well, that's fantastic. Um, I was about to recommend you look at local fighters. So we're, uh, I'm preaching to the choir. I, I think you'll find uh, great local promoters, great local fans, uh, very knowledgeable fans, and great local fighters you can source. So I, I think you can build a great card uh, here in town, and I'm really excited about what you're, you know, what you're talking about. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Commissioner Feinstein, questions, thoughts for Mr. Holden? No, um, I would just echo your sentiments that um, we're glad to have them here. Big fan of the promotion and uh, appreciate the attention to local fighters and uh, look forward to uh, putting on a great event. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, the chair would be open to a motion if there is one. Mr. Chairman, um, I move that um, pursuant to ARS 5-227, 5-228, and AACR 19-26609, that we approve the new license application submitted by Mr. Bryce Holden, um, doing business that's Holden Boxing for a 2022 boxing promoter's license. Thank you. We have a motion. I'm going to second that motion. We now have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Hi, motion carries two to zero. Congratulations, Mr. Holden. We're excited about what you're uh, contemplating. I'm excited to get you more involved with this commission too. I think you'll find a, a great group. I put them up against anybody. So uh, I'm excited about what you're talking about and uh, looking forward to what's to come. Thank Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And Danny's been mm -hmm. a great representative of the commission thus far and we look forward to it as well. Great. No, you're going to like the whole group. We are all rowing in the same direction. So I, I'm excited about getting you involved with them. Uh, speaking of which, let's go on to B2, which is pursuant to ARS sections 5 227, 5 228, and AAC R19 2 C604 for persons over the age of 36. The new license application submitted by Mr. Anderson Silva for a 2022 professional boxing athlete license. 
Mr. Vello, will you speak to Mr. Silva's application, please? Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. So Mr. Silva is 47 years old. Um, he, he submitted all the required documentation and based upon um, what I received, all of his medicals came back healthy, uh, so much so that his doctors actually noted that he's in phenomenal shape and health for a person of his age. And um, obviously his last bout was um, in September, so about a year ago, um, and he won via KO against Tito Ortiz. Um, and in that, in the past year, from my understanding, he's been very active and continuing to train. So uh, with that, I recommend his approval. Thank you, Mr. Vela. Do we have any representatives from Mr. Silva's camp? Mr. Silva himself is on the line as well. Fantastic. Mr. Silva, welcome. It's an honor to have you here. Anderson, I think you're on mute. Now, I think it's work. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you, guys. I'm so happy to talk to everybody here. And um, I'm so happy I finished my training. I'm here with my coach, uh, Coach Nico, and I finished training now. And thanks for the time, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Silva. Your reputation precedes you. I think we know you well, and uh, I, I'm excited about what you're contemplating, you and Mr. Holden and everybody. It should be an interesting, fun night. So thank you so much for being here. It's a great honor to have you. Um, thank you. Yes. Uh, Commissioner Feinstein, thoughts, questions for Mr. Silva? Yes, sir. Uh, no. No questions from me other than just to say I've uh, been following uh, your career since uh, the beginning, uh, even in Japan, and um, really look forward to um, seeing you fight in person for the first time. So um, appreciate uh, that Dr. Mr. Vela's uh, assertions about your training and uh, your fitness, which I have no doubts about, and uh, look forward to seeing you at the event. Fantastic. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, I, too, have no further questions. The chair would be open to a motion, if there is one. Mr. Chairman, uh, pursuant to ARS 5-227, 5-228, and AAC R19-2C604 for persons over the age of 36 years old, I move that we approve the new license application submitted by Mr. Anderson Silva for a 2022 professional boxing athlete license. Thank you, Commissioner. We have a motion. I am going to second that motion. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Motion carries two to zero. Congratulations, Mr. Silva. We are looking forward to what's to come. Anything we can do to make it better for you, please let us know. Thank you. I'm, I'm training hard every day, you know. I keep training. I keep in my mind busy about healthy and i'm so excited today is an amazing day because my son go fight too and uh i go to the the check and wait and fight tomorrow i'm so exciting and thank you guys i'm so happy good for you what a special day best of luck to your son that's uh that is a very special day best of luck for to both of you thank you sir Thank you. We look forward to seeing you next month. <laughs> yeah. And I come grandfather too. Oh my God. That's terrible. Terrible part. <laughs> there, you <laughs> there you go. Oh my God. <laughs> Very good. Well, you take care. You are blessed. You take care. Let's press Thank on to item C, which is our, our old business is C1 pursuant to ARS sections 5-227, 5 5-228 and AAC R19-2-C604 for persons over the age of 36, the new license application submitted by Mr. Jonathan Lacona Ramos for a 2022 professional boxing athlete license. Mr. Vela, will you speak to Mr. Ramos's application? Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Ramos is the individual who we tabled last week uh, awaiting his medicals and all of his medicals have come back healthy um, and they noted that he is in good uh, shape to compete um, and with with that, I wanted to point out that uh, Mr. Ramos has certainly been active. He's uh, the opponents that he's faced in the past were of uh, 
a great performance, you know, and when I look back at their at their opponents, you know, he, he's fought some pretty uh, higher caliber a athletes, and um, and so I, I think that yeah, he'll do just fine, and I do recommend his approval. Thank you, Mr. Bella. Um, you and I did speak earlier about this, and if you do dig deeper, Mr. Ramos has gone the distance with a lot of notable fighters. Um, he was knocked out once in this last 10 fight streak, but otherwise he's gone six and eight rounds pretty consistently. And the fights have been pretty close on the cards too. Um, I know you're recommending approval. We always get a little touchy when we see someone with a, a continual loss record going up against an undefeated fighter. You mentioned to me that this, fighter he's going up against hasn't seen um uh, hasn't been fighting at the highest levels potentially uh that's right and so um so the his opponent that he's scheduled to, to box this week um has, is nine and oh so a very good record uh, but he only has two knockouts um you know he's much more of a technical uh boxer and typically will go to the distance um with some of and if you look at his record uh his opponents are not as high as high level as some of the opponents that Mr. Ramos has, has faced. And so I think that it'll be a, a very good bout. And I do, I do think that it'll go di the distance and we'll see how it pans out. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Bell. I appreciate you digging deeper on this thing. Um, Commissioner Feinstein, where, where do you stand on this? How do you feel about this? Yeah. I mean, I, um, I still have some concerns as we talked about last week, but I think, um, you know, based on what, um, Mr. Bella is explaining to us, I think, um, I think that, um, you know, there's certainly Mr. Ramos deserves, um, an opportunity, um, to, to show that he deserves to be in there. And, uh, uh, based on last week's discussion and this one, I think um, that I'm prepared to um, propose a motion. Uh, very good. If you feel so inclined, please do so. Mr. Commissioner, pursuant to ARS 5-227, 5-228, and AAC R19-2-C604 uh, for persons over the age of 36 years old, uh, I move that we approve the new license application um, submitted by uh, Mr. Jonathan uh, Lacona Ramos for a 2022 professional uh, boxing athlete license. Thank you, Commissioner. We have a motion that I am going to second. We have a motion and a second now. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries two to zero. Congratulations, Mr. Ramos. We look forward to your upcoming event. Um, Mr. Bella, item D is a call to the public. Do you know if anyone wants to chat with us? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I do not see anyone's hands up. Let me uh, take a quick look. It does not appear that anyone wants to speak with us. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Bella. That would push us into E, the call to the commission. Uh, Mr. Director, Mr. Feinstein, if there's something you'd like to chat about, this would be the time. Nothing from me, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Mr. Vella, anything else we need to talk about? Uh, Mr. Chairman, nothing in particular. Just to say uh, good luck to all of our fighters that we've approved and uh, and to our new promoter. I look forward to what's to come. Thank you, Danny. And if I Agreed. may it quickly, um, I know that for this event, um, obviously it's a high profile event. Our plan is to make a more public announcement of this event on Tuesday. I know that you all have a protocol in the state of Arizona, obviously, um, that you'll be following. But I think at a, at a kind of PR level and a, and a, and a personal level, um, we'd love to try to keep this um, under wraps until uh, until Tuesday of next week when we formally announce, if that's possible. Very good. I appreciate you saying so. Uh, uh, we will do our best. You know how these things tend to work out. But uh, <laughs> best of luck to you. Um, and I'm really excited about this event. I think it's going to be really special. So thank you for joining us and bringing it here. Thank you all so much. Mm -hmm. um, all right. It looks like we've made it to F, the announcement that the next regularly scheduled commission meeting will be at 11 a.m. on Wednesday, September 21st, 2022, and it's subject to change based on a quorum. 
Uh, G is adjournment. Is there a motion for such? Mr. Chairman, uh, I move to adjourn. Very nice. Thank you, Commissioner. I second that motion. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, motion carries two to zero. We are adjourned. Thank you all for your time and interest. Good things to come. Take care, everybody.